now listen you guys people are speculating that this might actually be another 2018 happening all over again in female rap between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B because lately it seems like both of them have been throwing shots at each other okay so previously I did do a video and I told you guys that well Nicki Minaj had tweeted uh, a tweet that basically read looking like a tooth so it seems like Cardi caught wind of that of that I mean she's allegedly always um you know stalking Nicki Minaj's pages so obviously she would basically come across the tweet all right and she's finally decided to respond and then a lot of other things happened after that and if you would like to know more please stay tuned hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug okay back to the story you guys so after Nicki Minaj posted that entire looking like a tooth uh like a tooth egg uh tweet uh Cardi B was out there in Paris and she decided to post pictures of herself and she said looking like uh, wealth and of course fans started speculating that that was a jab towards Nicki Minaj uh, basically responding to her tweet of uh, looking like um, you know looking like well looking like a toothache so now um, after that happened obviously there was another list that was posted of uh, top streams uh, top streamed artists on Spotify and they had Cardi B on number 16 and Nicki Minaj in the 30s and obviously that did not sit well with Nicki Minaj because the myth was not basically you know myth thing and i mean it's not a new thing it has been alleged that you know a lot of times you know there's a lot of inflation of the figures and stuff like that to make a, to make a certain artist look better than the other to basically make the one who has industry support and who has the machine behind her look better and of course Nicki Minaj in 2023 is not having it so she decided to take to her twitter to basically correct the misinformation okay she first of all said that well certain artists be out there paying chat data um not chat data specifically but paying chat pages to uh basically post wrong states just to create a narrative uh you know a little bit of hype around them and so she went on a marathon basically correcting the states that what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna call it i did see someone saying that oh well she's mad that you know cardi b, cardi b had these spotify and i'm like no she's mad that the figures are being played around with she is mad that they are downplaying achievements she is mad that they are basically misrepresenting figures to make it look like you know that other girl is talented okay so yeah she has every right to correct all those wrong narratives they are trying to push do you understand what i'm saying so she basically went on a marathon told us you know the last number one the last uh, female rapper song to basically grow number one and you know a lot of those other states and you know top 50 most streamed streamed rappers which had her uh, drake and lil Wizzy, obviously in the top 10 and she was not having it okay she was not having it and as you know the bubs love that okay they started coming in with the receipts which is something that i absolutely uh, agree with do you understand what i'm saying and i dislike the fact now that people try and make it seem like she's pressed over this girl no she is pressed because listen no one would want somebody uh, basically downplaying inflating their figures and creating a false narrative i'm sure that if these states were actually legit Nicki minaj wouldn't care about this it's the fact that people really do try to be disrespecting her okay and now if she claps claps back people will start saying oh my god she shouldn't do that and i'm like no no this is not 2018 she's not going to let anyone play in her face okay she will not and I, I i absolutely am here for it okay so um, she then posted that and of course the receipts started coming in the accolades started coming in and you know what mm, the transformer was pressed okay because she then went on a twitter and said you know what it was never that serious and i'm like no the transformer we are not going to throw shoes and hide hands okay this is 2023 and we are not going to stand here for it okay you do not throw um you know short subs and inflate inflate figures and then start to act like it's not that serious if it wasn't that serious your people wouldn't have allegedly inflated the numbers the fact that your people actually go to those lengths to inflate figures to pay people to do this 
yeah it's giving it is that serious honey so we're not gonna be acting fake classy when we are you know out here throwing rocks we, we're not gonna do that in 2023 and yeah no one is feeding into that nonsense okay it worked in 2018 but it's not gonna work in 2023 how are you gonna go out of your way how's your team gonna go out of your way to basically play with these figures create this narrative and when the other person corrects it you're acting all mature and all classy it was never that serious it is serious the transform okay it is absolutely serious okay i just had to you know make that clear it's it's very serious okay it's not serious if if somebody purchased an album and just basically gave you the album to be the face to that album of course if it's like that it's not that serious but if you're putting your hard work sweat tears and everything in between in your body of work in your bodies of work it's that serious for someone who's just a puppet, it might not be serious. Do you understand what I'm saying? But for a hardworking black woman, it is that serious. Who is very passionate about the craft and not just about the money, it is very serious, unfortunately. Okay? So, yeah, basically, this is what happened, you guys. And I did see uh, she also posted, you know, that remix that she did and, you know, said that she doesn't give an F. And I did see her doing a cheers in the restaurant saying she doesn't give an F. And I'm just like, yeah you do give an f for you to keep mentioning that i don't give an f i don't give an f you do give an f okay now do i wish that Nicki minaj wouldn't have given her the time of the day nor the night absolutely yes because now it is very much giving some people um you know clout in my own opinion attention because in 2023 no one was checking for her like that and her remixes no one was checking for her which is the reason why she She's basically scared to release new music. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now I feel like she's going to knock the behind out of this opportunity to basically get a little bit of attention, boost their confidence, and basically maybe release a single or something. So really, I would, a part of me wishes Nicki Minaj hadn't, you know, given her the time of the day, nor the night. But hey, that's just my opinion, you guys. So do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about this entire, you know, situation. Do you see us going back to 2018? and do you think the beef is gonna be up again i wish not okay because listen in 2023 Nicki minaj you have so many things to celebrate okay and do not let any person like take that you know away from you don't let them divert you like that do you understand what i'm saying but i mean i do understand where she was coming from they were playing in her face too much okay and i don't know hop into the comment section you guys and let me know what you think about that Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far. If you if you haven't already, I'm sorry, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. I post each and every single day and I keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on Instagram, on Twitter and about all things trending now. Until my next one, see you.